Hello Leo! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of June of 2020 reading. I'm going to be starting out with the Lenormand deck by Kiro Marcetti and I'm going to, be, going to be laying a circle spread. So dear Lord Spirit, Guides and Angels, please bless whichever Leo I'm reading for. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on with clearly defined messages regarding the first half of June of 2020. <clears throat> okay, so Leo, in the beginning of the month, you do have the ship energy. So this is like um, a desire to have someone travel towards you or you towards them. In the thoughts position, you may be questioning in the first week and a half or so of June of 2020, Leo, uh, the devotion of another or others. Are they going to come towards us? Are we going to devote our time and effort? How are we going to come together? I feel like there's a lot of confusion there during the beginning of June of 2020. <clears throat> now in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we do have the fox. So we do have someone here who is kind of carrying energies of sly, cunning, sly and cunning behavior, almost like not being truthful so that's what this confusion is about. Do I really want them to come? Do they really want to come? Uh, do they ever want to come? You know, second guessing travel and devotion. So in the creative aspects position, you have the four leaf clover. So this is beautiful. This is all about success. Thinking about success. Thinking about money with the six of diamonds. Thinking about a blessed and lucky situation. How are you trying to create a blessed and lucky situation? For in the actions position, Leo, in the first half of June of 2020, you're being guided to just kind of kick back, pray to spirit, trust that when divine timing is right, everything will come together as it should. And breathe. Okay. That's all you have to do in the first half of June. Free your mind. Focus on what it is you're praying for. Uh, if there is confusion, sometimes with the moon, ask spirit to bless the situation in a way where it all evolves in a perfect way, in perfect, having to do with perfect timing, divine timing. Because it's like, you know, you know maybe what you're wishing for by June of 2020, Leo, but you feel in relation to another or others here, that someone doesn't want to travel towards what you feel would be perfect. And it's because the timing, right? We have to remember that, you know, things are ticking, people are clicking. And when people make and take steps, that affects another situation. And then all these things need to transpire, transpire before something will click. I could get into that, but I'm not gonna. Okay, so in the emotional aspects position. Yeah, emotionally, it's about communication. You know, we're at a distance, but we have many, many ways to reach out, to connect, to talk. So, you know, if you're feeling lost and confused or worried, uh, definitely take action during June, the first half of June, to communicate uh, what it is maybe that you're confused about with someone. Uh, you may be trying to communicate uh, regarding someone who has moon in their chart, which is uh, Pisces, wanting to take action to communicate and being guided to do so. Whichever gem, uh, okay, Leo this is. Okay, so Spirit just tried to confirm for someone that either you have Gemini in your chart or you're dealing with a Gemini. Sorry about that. That happens for all of us. In the subconscious position, know that you are going to have the strength of the whip or the broom to sweep away from. Are they coming or aren't they? Or I'm just going to go away. But then what do I devote myself to? I want something to come true, but I'm having to wait. Okay. And when we're in a moment of pause, we need to give thanks for that moment. It's a time to, you know, come up with some fun ideas, put your time and effort into something that grounds you so that you can free your mind from all that is outside of you. If only for an hour or two each evening, 
Now in the day-to-day -day aspects position, you have the fish. So this is, again, thinking maybe about a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or they have that in their chart, thinking about money. So boy, this Leo has got money on the mind, contemplating someone traveling towards you, you towards them, trying to create a karmic and blessed path or hoping for one. And Spirit saying, continue to devote yourself and know that others too will communicate back with you in this moment of pause. If something's not working, they're saying, Leo, it's because other things need to take place first in someone else's life before this change can happen. And so enjoy the connection for what it is, you know, and give thanks day to day that you had that day to communicate with another. All right. So in your inner strengths position, look at spirits giving you the strength, Leo, to shine like the sun, to feel like a kid again, to give thanks to the sun that's shining, the blue skies the family and friends in your life. For at some point in time, I don't think it's going to be by mid-June of 2020. It may take until, or maybe around June 27th of 2020. Leo, and then there will be communication about travel. And then you can continue to shine, but don't uh, let yourself sit in a state of uh, any sort of frustration for subconsciously spirits saying, remember, you have the whip or the broom to sweep away from. Do I want this? Do I not want this? Should I offer this or should I not offer this? OK, there's a lot of overthinking here. And that's why spirits saying ground yourself. Do something you enjoy day to day. Take your mind off of everything outside of yourself, especially in the first couple weeks of June of 2020 is what they're saying. Yeah, see, we have a Leo here in a three-card spread in the first position, representing the first week and a half or so of June, thinking about a bigger, better home, business, circumstance, situation, a more financially abundant, stable, secure, or emotional connection. And Spirit's saying we're giving you the magnifying glass, Leo, in the first two weeks of June to look a little bit closer. Yeah, someone is researching their circumstances, contemplating the next chapter. They may want to hop, skip, and jump into your direction. So Spirit saying, roll the dice, take a risk, trust in prayer with the wishing well energies. What are you wishing to see come manifest? Free yourself of the, borden, bor <laughs> the burden of the maze and the mice. Okay, this is about which way am I going? Am I making a mistake? I have a lot of anxiety for I'm very passionate about my stability and security. And now I want to come together with family and friends or a soul situation, a soul connection, a soul person. But see that, you know, don't, it's spirit saying, don't look at the path ahead as long and difficult. Like you have to control how it's all going to evolve for We'll never be able to do that. Spirit likes to surprise us, okay? So look at the path ahead as an exciting new adventure. You know, we moved here, and then we talked to them, and then they moved too, but it didn't happen very quickly. See, Spirit's saying sweep away from indecision. Ground yourself when you're confused. Come up with an, an idea or two, and know that when it comes to someone who's at a distance, not living with you in your current home environment day to day, that spirit is helping to guide them to decide on is this a higher, better journey for me or not. So, yeah, there's a lot of wisdom that people need to obtain and it's going to take a little bit of time. But look at this. It could be that there is some form of discussion and aha moment around the 17th of June of 2020 regarding a commitment partnership or contract. There will be meetings and negotiations and discussions regarding this passionate masculine or something that a masculine is passionate about. Yeah, so somebody else is going through and I think it's more than one person around you. They're bringing things to an end and it's quite a process. And even though you want to give kind words, messages, flowers, gifts and invitations, they haven't gotten, they haven't crossed the bridge yet. If this is a change, especially regarding home, for some regarding business, for others regarding family. However, that applies to you. All right. So for clarification this time, I'm going to bring in the 
what is this one called? Osha Zen deck. This is a tarot deck. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread regarding Leo. Yeah, oh, so you are the empress. You are the caregiver, the provider, the lover, the nurturer. This could be male or female. It could be a grandmother, grandfather. Uh, you also have the empress energy. So the strong desire to manifest some form of travel or to manifest an opportunity to connect with another. And see, look what's happening. You know, the coronavirus, I think, is guiding us all to kind of sit down where we're at and think about things and come into an awareness of how the future is going to be and the changes that they're excited to make. But they have to get excited about the future and they have to have the same goals and intentions. So you have a little bit of guilt energy for whatever reason in your thoughts position, Leo, in the first maybe week and a half of June of 2020 with the Eight of Swords. But the Eight of Swords is a figment of our imagination. Spirit saying, continue to devote yourself to creating and manifesting whatever it is you're wanting to give birth to. All right, in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have someone here who is in this flowering energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Very stable, secure, has beautiful surroundings. Wanting to sneak away from this path of contentment. So I do feel there's a little bit of boredom, but Spirit's saying we're giving you the Empress energies. We are going to help to guide you to push beyond whatever's making you feel guilty and to devote yourself instead to the journey, right? Eventually things will transpire, but right now it's about journeying into a direction, not getting what we want when we want it real fast, which is our human nature. So in the creative aspects position, you guys have... And this is showing up for a lot of people right now. It, a karmic and blessed path with a four-leaf clover having to do with someone who is uh, very financially abundant, secure, and stable, someone who's a father figure, grandfather figure. So there's a desire here to come together, connect with another, and manifest a happily ever after. But there's a lot of money involved is what I'm hearing. Uh, I think on the other person's behalf, right? We have people worried about money and changes and all kinds of things. So again, we have a desire to communicate spirit saying, trust that this person will communicate back to you and you to them until clarity arrives. So it may not arrive by mid-June of 2020, but there could be some communication and paperwork by the 27th of June of 2020. Yep, communication with the page of coins or pentacles energies a new adventure because of communication and paperwork regarding finances and or things of the material so in the subconscious position there's suppression here the ten of wands is like i'm feeling like i'm carrying too much on my back but really what are you carrying on your back i you know write down what it is you are passionate to learn about or do even if it's read a book or coloring in a coloring book that you're going to take time to do that each day because Spirit's trying to give you the strength subconsciously to sweep away from whatever it is that's quote-unquote weighing on your back. Because I see someone who's very content, stable, and secure, but I'm fearing energies of boredom. I'm seeing energies of guilt. So it's almost like somebody wants to manifest something for another and make an offer, um, but that person's just not ready yet. And again, they may have Pisces in their chart and or this has to do with money. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position with the schizophrenia energies of the two of swords, somebody here is afraid to take one step or another for fear they will fall and fail, especially having to do with finances is what I'm thinking. Now you may be indecisive about connecting with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Leo, but again, free yourself from guilt and worry and hand your worries to spirit and ask spirit to bring you the right resolution to the situation. And have faith that spirit will indeed help you to give birth to something beautiful when the time is right. Maybe it'll be in August, you know, towards the end of June, and then there's discussion. I don't know why I just got that message. In the uh, uh, inner strengths position, spirit's giving you the strength not only to shine like the sun, but to recognize with the Ten of Cups energies the happily ever after you have in your life. 
Trust that the answers will come when the time is right. There may be communication that shows up, maybe around the 7th. It could be the 7th of June or the 7th of July. So see, it's just time needs to pass a little bit. Look at this. On the bottom of the deck, if you've been asking a specific question, on the bottom of each deck, we have changes regarding home, family, or business, and we have the Six of Wands, success, attention, recognition, confidence, coming into harmony with others and shining brightly because you surpassed whatever it was that was weighing you down. You know, maybe you were sneaking off to uh, eat a candy bar and you weren't supposed to. I mean, this is a personal kind of thing here, and it, it'll make, be different for each of you. All right, Leo, so should these, uh, well, I'm going to bring in the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed for an overall collective energy that you can work with throughout the first half of June of 2020. This is the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck, and, oh, uh, should these messages be resonating for you and or you have, would like your own personal energy read, uh, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Easter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. All right. Closing message, please. So, Leo, you guys have the word, Lord. Look at it may be a good time to journal, maybe put together family things that you can celebrate, something that you put your effort into. There's also communication listed here, like we talked about. Uh, continue to communicate without feeling guilty, knowing that others uh, need to catch up in some way. Remember to continue to praise the Lord for the wonderful blessings you have in your life when it comes to family and friends and whomever. For we do have dishonesty here that makes me think about that fox. It is time now to uh, communicate and wait. You've got the camel boy energy, so it's about taking small steps, praying to spirit for help and guidance like we talked about. Walking in integrity and compromising with spirit when it comes to divine timing. For at some point in time, you've got the web weaver energy. Uh, this is about paying attention to the signs and synchronicities, recognizing that as you continue to communicate and work on something, that spirit will help uh, for things to transpire, right? Communication regarding money and giving birth to some form of home change and success, however that applies to you. So thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you who have donated to keep this channel up and running. Uh, remember to click on the little bell uh, because I am spiritually led to, to as to when I'm going to download these videos, and then you'll be the first to know. Take care, and God bless.